Howdy again everyone, and today I'm checking out a new, low-budget, full-frame, autofocus portrait lens from Astra Hori, their 85mm f1.8 autofocus. It was originally just for Sony E-mount cameras, but is now available on Nikon Z-mount 2, and it costs a very low price of only $249. US dollars. For a full-frame autofocus portrait lens, that's potentially a great deal, if the thing is any good, that is. I'd like to thank Astrohori for sending me a copy of this lens for testing, although as usual this is a totally independent review. Everyone loves a fast 85mm lens, they can get you some pretty deeply out of focus backgrounds, perfect for subject or portrait photography, while not giving such a long telephoto reach that your backgrounds become compressed into oblivion and no longer a functional part of your image. This is the kind of lens that people buy a full frame camera for. Its pictures can be absolutely stunning, and an aperture as bright as f1.8 means it can grab fast shutter speeds for stopping action or shooting in darker situations. This particular 85mm Astra Hori lens is gorgeous to both look at and to handle with its deep black textured metallic body, although it's a little bigger and considerably heavier than usual for an 85mm f1.8. The rear mount is made of metal, it doesn't feature any weather ceiling, but you do get a USB-C connector here for future firmware updates. The lens's only control point is a rather stiffly turning metallic manual focus ring. The lens's focus motor responds to being turned quite well, although the lens does display a fair bit of focus breathing, as you can see here. The lens's autofocus motor seems to be very good, it works silently, accurately and quickly, as you can see. The lens's filter thread size is 72mm and it comes with a plastic hood. The lens does not feature image stabilisation. Overall, excellent build quality here, we are missing out on an aperture ring, but that would obviously have increased the lens's price quite a bit. Well, let's look at image quality now, I'll be testing this thing on a Nikon Z7 camera with its 45 megapixel full frame sensor. In camera corrections were turned on for these pictures, although they don't really seem to make any difference. At f1.8, we see good contrast in the middle of the image, but a bit of softness on contrasting edges. Unfortunately, as we move away from the middle of the image, picture quality quickly falls apart almost completely, with the corners looking dreadful. Stopping down to f2.8 merely improves image brightness in the corners and nothing else. The middle now is looking very sharp though. At f4, the middle looks perfect but still, picture quality across the mid-frame and the corners is very poor. At f5.6, a little clarity is beginning to emerge, stopping down to f8 or f11 eventually brings about a usable but unimpressive image. Overall, this is some of the softest image quality I've yet seen on an 85mm optic. The middle becomes very sharp at f2.8, but any areas past the middle need to be stopped down much further. I did mention these results to Astro Hori, as I was concerned that the lens might be broken or optically descendered, but they simply replied to say that this image quality is indeed within factory specifications. Alright, well, let's take a look at distortion and vignetting. The lens projects a moderate pincushion distortion here, as well as very dark corners at f1.8. Stopping down to f2 or f2.8 will brighten those corners, but that's as bright as they get, really. The lens can focus down to about 79cm, which is further than average for an optic of this type. Close-up image quality at f1.8 displays low contrast and strong colour fringing. f2 looks marginally better, f2.8 is ok, f4 sharp. Now, let's see how the lens works against bright lights. The lens shows a moderate amount of flaring and glaring here, including a bright flash when lights are just outside the image frame, but in fairness, I was expecting worse than this. Let's take a look at the quality of this lens's bokeh now, and honestly, I'm quite happy here. Those out of focus backgrounds look lovely and soft, albeit with the usual cat's eye shape to bokeh balls in the image corners. And finally, related to bokeh comes longitudinal chromatic aberration. The force is strong on this one, as you can see, especially at f1.8. False colours are still there at f2.8 and even f4, but at f5.6 they are finally gone. 
Overall, well, there have been a few Astro Hoi lenses that I've quite liked recently. This isn't really one of them, to be honest. Its price is rock bottom, and there'll always be some interest from users on a very low budget, but I think Astro Hoi have compromised image quality just a bit too much here, and in too many ways.